Is that how you say it? Sweetie? Sweetie. Sweetie. Could we get a photo, darling, please? Just one photo. You know what? I really gotta go. Just, okay, well, could you say something into the camera? My girlfriend, she loves you. She loves you. Could you just, if you could say one thing to her and the icy girls out there, what would it be? Uh, um, into the camera, please. Okay. Um, you know what? It says get into your bag, stay focused. <laughs> Leave these bum ass niggas alone. Ass niggas alone. Okay, to start, let's go over everything that I got in the collection. I did end up getting the entire Morphe collection as a birthday present to myself. So let's start with, we can start with the bag actually. It came with this fanny pack. Um, obviously it's orange and it's transparent and they have a little bit of stuffing in there. Let's take it out. So yeah, so this is the bag that it came with. Um, I believe this collection is supposed to be like a festival, like Coachella type collection or something like that. So that's probably why it came with the bag. And I know like at Coachella and stuff, like I've never been, but I know that at Coachella, I think you can only have like clear bags or no bags. Um, so yeah, so this is what everything came with, or this is the bag everything came with. Uh, the next thing we'll go to is the brushes. It came with six brushes. These are all the brushes starting right here. This one, it has a little bit of glitter on it because I tried to swatch one earlier, but I lost the footage with me swatching it, so I'm doing it again. So this one is like a silicone type spatula. Um, this one is for the glitter pigments that are in the palette. Right here, we have a nice domed fluffy brush. This one is a pencil brush. Um, this one is like a packing brush right here. A nice blending brush as well, really nice and fluffy. And then another detail brush is what we have for this stuff. Okay, so the next thing that we have is the lip glosses that it came with. Starting from the purple one, that one is called 8 Inches. This one in the middle is called Boss Tycoon. And then this one is called Money Mommy. And we're going to try and swatch those. These are all the swatches, and again, this purple one is called 8 Inches. This one in the middle that you can barely kind of see is called Boss Tycoon, and this one, this pinky one, is called Ma Money Mommy. Okay, so last but not least, we have the palette that it came with, obviously. Um, this is the 24A Artist Palette and this is what she looks like so let's get into her i'll give you a nice little close-up you feel me okay so starting with the first row i'm going to swatch everything on my hand again this is the first set of colors from right here we have all access fit of the day this orange color is called while and out this one is called security and this one is called Stage Persona. Maybe the back of my hand will be better to swatch on. I feel like you guys can barely see that. Let's try the next row on the back of my hand. Okay, so this is the second row of colors. Starting from this one, it is called Indio Wo. It's like, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And it's like a corally peach color and it looks very washed out on camera, but I promise you in person it's not and they are extremely pigmented. This next color right here is called portrait mode. It's like a, like a tan, it's like a tan, like a, I don't know how to explain it. Um, this one right here is called get the shot and it is like a marigold yellow. This one right here is called Desert Vibes, and this last one is Seek Shade. These look really washed out on camera. I promise you they're not washed out. This is the next row of colors that we have. This gold one is called Front Row. Next to that is called Private Oasis. After that is called Spotlight Stealer. And after that, it's called Secret Set. And my favorite is the one right here with the stars because like it has like this purple pink reflect to it. All of them have reflects to them for the most part, except for the gold one. The gold one is like truly gold. 
So I put the last two row of colors together because they all corresponded. Starting with the neon mattes, the pink one is called Max Volume. The green one is called Green Room. The yellow one is called Under the Sun. The blue one is called Ride or Sky. And the purple one is called Major Inspo. And then the glitter is under those. Starting with the pink one, it's called Glitterly. That's a really cute play on words. The green one is called Palm Tree. The yellow one is called Invite Only. Actually, it's like a, it actually looks kind of orange on camera. It does have orange reflex. In the pan, it's it looks kind of like a yellowy color. The blue one is called Instabaddy and the purple one is called Mic Drop. Now that we have swatched everything, let's get into this look. Today, I'm going to be recreating one of Sweetie's looks that Lipstick Nick did on her with this palette, only using this palette. And I'm gonna attempt to recreate it. So here is the picture. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the first eye off camera and then I'll come back to do the second eye. Okay, so I have finished the first eye and we are going to make the second eye a voiceover just because um, I feel like it'll be a little bit easier that way and that way the video is not crazy long because I'm sitting here blabbing my mouth. If you don't wanna dance like I find me somebody else that do, do. If you don't wanna dance, what you get, oh girl, you need to move, move. Okay, to start, I'm going to take my Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Tan Sand on a flat brush and put that on the lid of my eyes to prime it and then tap it out with my finger. Next, I'm going to use the fluffy brush from the collection in the shade Portrait Mode to set the concealer. You open, we should be closer to friends. Now I am taking that flat-ish kind of brush from the collection on the shade Max Volume and putting that on my outer corner and starting to deepen that. Then I'm going to take my Morphe Y20 brush and dip into the shade Indio Woe and I'm going to put that right on top of the pink and blend that out. Here I'm just taking that pink brush again and deepening the crease in the outer corner even more. Okay, so now I'm going to take the concealer that was left over on my hand and start to cut the crease. And then I'm going to wipe off the excess off the lid. I learned this technique actually from Instagram. I'm going to take that really small detail brush and dip into the shades, get the shot and under the sun. And then I'm going to stamp that on to where I made the line with the concealer on my crease and then cut the crease again so that we can put the blue shades on there. So right here, I'm realizing that I should have used a white base for the um, for that yellowish kind of line that goes on the crease because you can't really see it. Um, and I tried to intensify it. It wasn't really working out. But here I am finishing up cutting the crease and then touching up that yellow part again. Cold as ice and cold love. Open up. So next, I'm going to take a domed, dense, fluffy brush from Morphe. I can't remember the number on it because it wiped off. And dip into that purple shade, Major Inspo, and put that on the outer corner. Now I'm taking a really flat brush from an Urban Decay Naked palette. I can't remember which one. I'm dipping into that blue shade, Rider Sky. And I'm going to use this flat brush to get really close to where that line on the crease is so that I can get in there without smudging it. Then going in with a little bit more of a fluffy packing brush and putting on that blue shade. Now I'm going to use another flat brush and dip into the shade Private Oasis. But I'm going to wet it first with the setting spray that came into the collection. So right here, I'm realizing that that flat brush isn't really giving me the impact that I wanted it to. So I figured I would try to use the spatula on one of the shimmer shades. And it actually worked out really, really well. 
So right here, I'm taking my Kat Von D tattoo liner in the color black, and I'm just going to create a nice little wing liner real quick for y'all. At this point, I'm just touching up, so I'm going to use that pencil brush in the shade Max Volume, and I'm going to try to deepen the crease over top of that yellow line. And then I'm going to take a makeup remover wipe, and I'm going to wipe off all of the fallout so that I can start to put my foundation on. So I'm back, I finished my foundation, concealer, highlighter, contour, all of that, and I'm about to take that really small detailing brush and dip into that purple shade Major Inspo and finish this waterline on the outer corner with that color. Then I'm going to go into Max Volume, the pink shade, and put that kind of under where we put the purple um, so that it'll just blend in together. So now we're going to dip into Indio Woe, and I'm going to put that more towards the inner corner on the waterline. To finish off the waterline, I'm just going to tightline my eyes with the Kyliner um, charcoal pencil. Obviously, it's black. And then I'm going to go in with the Damn Girl Mascara from Too Faced. And I'm just going to put some mascara on my top and bottom lashes. And I don't remember what lashes I put on for this, so my apologies. Open up. That girl she got on my clone. I told that little girl that she got it to do better. Are you serious? I swear my money is serious. So to finish off the face, all we have to do is lips and I'm going to go in with my NYX suede lip liner in the shade Downtown Beauty to start off. Then I'm going to go in to the shade Boss Tycoon from the Icy Glosses and I like the shade. I will say before let me okay pause because the lip glosses were nice but they were kind of gritty because of all of the glitter chunks in them um so if that bothers you that's something to consider before you get this palette or the collection i mean um but the gold wasn't really giving me the oomph that i needed so i wiped it off in the middle and i put that shade money mommy on the middle because it has pink and i really just wanted to bring out the pink tones and to finish off we're going to set our face with the morphe setting spray that came with the collection dab it out with a beauty blender to make sure there's no wet spots on your face and we're good and this is the finished product i hope you guys enjoy this look because i actually i think i really killed that i haven't done like real eyeshadow in like a really long time so i'm a little rusty but i still got it this is actually going kind of crazy i really do like this look and honestly i'll probably do it again so that i can like wear it out one day because i i really bang with this this is mad cute this is hella cute i really like this one um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below for more videos. Um, make sure you guys check out my previous videos and stay icy.